guys, welcome to Campbell Workshop. Today we are going to be a bit different from our normal flower tutorials. I'm going to share you my 5 top tips on making my paper flowers. I hope this is going to answer some questions and make your flower making journey a bit easier. Before we start, don't forget to press the subscribe button below so you won't miss our weekly videos. First, template. I normally carry out some experiments before I finalizing my templates. I will use some recycled paper to test things out. But once I think I have the perfect one, then I will copy the template to a piece of corrugated craft boards, which is a very light, good quality cardboard. This can make your template very durable. I've used the same template to make a hundreds of magnolias for my wedding. This method is good for slightly bigger petals. If you don't want to buy something new, just want something handy, or you are working on a project with tiny petals, you can go for the drawing paper in 300 grams. They are heavier than normal printing paper. They can hold the crepe paper down a bit better and give you a guideline to follow. The drawing paper is good for the templates with a lot of details, like the astrantia leaves. The drawing paper can allow you to reach more details than the cardboard. Tip number two is paper clips. I found them very useful to hold things down when I'm cutting. I don't need to worry at all if the template is going to move around. It can definitely enhance the speed and accuracy in the cutting. It is also very useful for leaving allowance, especially in leaves making. The third tip is about paper. I only use 180 grams Italian crepe paper in my projects because I love colouring my petals with acrylics. So my paper needs to be in a heavy weight to hold the moisture that I apply onto it. I'm going to show you how much moisture this paper can hold. First is the medium amount of water. Second is more paint. Then the last section is very watery. After 15 minutes of drying, the paper is dry but still a bit wavy. Let's just cut them into petals. You will realize the paper is very strong, that it doesn't behave differently. But you do need to be aware of sunlight. Sunlight and heat can discolor the crepe paper. This flower was produced half a year ago and I just left them on my desk. Comparing to the roll of well stored paper, the flower is more grey than blue. So make sure you store your unused paper in the cupboard. I also like to keep a box of scrap paper together. So I can use them for wrapping wires or doing some of my experiments with them. Sometimes you can also cut flower buds petals from the scraps. You can definitely save a lot of materials. Number four is creating loops on the wires. It is a specific tip for the fringe flower centers. If you have watched my tutorials before, you might have noticed this loop that I have been creating. I'm going to do this little experiment to show you. I simply attach the fringes onto the wire with some hot glue. If we just attach the fringes to the wire without a loop, the wire can come out very easily because there is nothing to block the wire. But if we add a little loop on top of the wire, it is very unlikely to come off. The hole at the bottom is too small for the loop to slide off. Last but not least is about the glue. A lot of other flower making artists might recommend using PVA as the main adhesive but when I was starting my flower making journey I think they are discoloring the crepe paper a lot especially with leaves making I think the reason might be the PVA glue is water based 
which caused the discoloring. Then I have moved on to the Yuhulu, which is a synthetic resin adhesive. It is fast curing and it does not cause any discoloring. Yuhu glue is perfect for leaves making, sometimes attaching petals and wrapping the wire. The only one thing that you need to be aware of is to not apply too much. Otherwise, a layer of clear bubble locking plastic would be shown on the surface. The second glue that I use the most is hot glue. I use it for sticking but also create bulky surfaces or even objects. Like the flower center of anemone, it is also a very fast curing glue, but make sure you have preheat the glue properly, otherwise it might not stick at all and your flower will fall apart. Thank you for watching! I hope these tips can help you in your own crepe paper projects. If you have any tips you want to share with us, please comment below. We would love to try them out. Finally, if you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share to your friends. See you next week!